no rose hip, right? And as you probably know, vitamin C doesn't hold up very well when it's heated. So then if you make a tea of rose hip, you will destroy most of the vitamin C, right? So that's a stupid idea, or maybe not. The full story is coming backed up by studies, and I'm pretty sure you will like my conclusion. So here's the trade-off with vitamin C and rose hips. And the sweet spot, listen to this, is around 84 to 86 degrees Celsius, which is about 183 to 186 degrees Fahrenheit for six to eight minutes, right? That gave the best balance, keeping vitamin C while maximizing polyphenol extraction. Dry them properly using the right temperature, not too low, not too high, to optimize drying time while limiting the heat. Don't grind them into a powder, keep them whole, just split for easier drying. For tea, use water at about 85 degrees Celsius, 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Steep for six to eight minutes covered that will be optimal extraction and you will keep most of the good stuff. That way you get both the vitamin C and all the other beneficial compounds that are so antioxidants.